Our guest today is the best-selling author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. He also has a new book coming out this month, Second Chance for Your Money, Life, and Our World. We'll also be asking him, will gold get a second chance in 2015? Robert, good to have you back on the show. Well, first of all, thank you for being uh, interviewing me. This is my latest book. It comes out officially in January of 2015. It's called The Second Chance. And what this book is about is how I predict the future. And it's in three parts. And when you read this book, you'll definitely want to buy some gold and some silver and all that. So the thing I like about Second Chance is for those of you who are, I made it simple as possible. I use charts. So you can see what's happening here is the decline of the dollar. You can see here quantitative easing. So I made it so that a, a kid could understand it. This is probably the most important picture of why you should buy gold. This is a picture here of the, a German sweeping the streets in 1923 of the Reichsmark. That's the future of the dollar. It's going to be trash. Cash will become trash. So what's the future of gold? Very good. So Robert, last year you were part of our successful Invest Like the Expert series where we said if you, we gave you $10,000 how you would invest it. Uh, this year, we asked our experts how they would invest $100,000. So what are you liking uh, this year so far? Okay, I want you to look at this article here. This is The Economist, October 25th, 2014. It says right here, the world's biggest economic problem, quote unquote, the euro will collapse. So when the euro collapses, it means the dollar will collapse soon thereafter. So that's what this book, Second Chance, is about. So the question you ask me is, what would I invest in? I really never changed. It's when the market started crashing in 2007, I borrowed nearly a half a billion dollars, $500 million in debt. You see, when, they, when currency collapses, then debt becomes valuable. So what happened is I borrowed $500 million through my partnerships and all this other stuff. That wasn't, that wasn't all of them, my money. So debt makes you rich and crashes. So it's a completely opposite, it's not more than contrarian, it's opposite. So what happened just recently, that $500,000 in debt was floating at 5% interest. They just reduced it down to 2.5% interest. So I made another $10 million a year because they revalued my debt. So everything I do was opposite. Again, this is why Rich Dad Poor Dad said, your house is not an asset. And I said, savers are losers. Many advisors I've spoken to, Robert, suggest holding 5 to 10% of your portfolio in gold. Do you agree? Do you hold more? No, I have a lot of gold. But I don't believe in percentages. I believe in watching the market. I try to tell you guys something. You see, the problem with gold, look, I hate to say this to you, is when I spend gold, when I, when I redeem gold, I'm taxed at 33%. That's really high, but I've invested. So I hold gold not as an investment. I hold it just in case, which I think it will happen, is the dollar, the yen, the euro, and the pound will collapse. So I'm not holding it as an investment. I hold it as an insurance policy. And you like holding it in a physical form? In very far away places, yes. All right. And what about equities? What are your thoughts? Part three of this book is what really is financial education. And it's to get out of the stock market. You hear what I'm saying? Don't invest in stocks. Don't invest in gold ETFs or silver ETFs. You really gotta start getting real pretty soon. So besides gold, what are you liking? Debt, debt, debt. You hear what I'm saying? You've been programmed to say debt is bad. Debt is wonderful if you know how to invest it. I'm gonna pay my debt back with cheap dollars. You speak with such passion. Because I have a hard time talking to people who went to school. You know, because you probably think saving money is smart. You probably think having a job is smart. You probably think getting out of debt is smart. I'm exactly opposite. And that's why I said everything's in part three of this book. It's opposite. But it's easier said than done, Robert. How do you find opportunity? You have to go to school, but not the stupid schools that people go to. You have to, I, take, I take investment courses all over the time, all the time. I do real estate investment courses. I attend gold investment courses. I, I invest a lot of money in oil and gas. And now that the price of oil is dropping, it's the time to buy. I don't invest in Standard Oil or Exxon. I, am, I invest in the land that the oil is on. Robert, thanks for speaking with us today. It's clear you like gold. Gold is a hedge, it's not an investment. There's a difference. Buying gold is like buying insurance, okay? That's a very big difference. I use debt to get rich. 
All right, thanks for your thoughts today and thanks for watching. You can email us comments and questions at newsfeedback at kitco.com.